What's going on, YouTube? Last time I did a video on Crown Victorias, it was like, what? Shit, four years ago, Crown Vic Sport clone. That shit broke me. I'm talking about it broke me in ways I can't even explain. I ended up having to throw that project. I had to throw that project in the trash can. And by chance and fate, I fucked around and ended up with a Crown Vic Sport. And I didn't have to go through the bullshit trying to clone one. Which I was totally pissed off that I felt like I shouldn't have had to gotten them have to go through it when I went through it. Fuck wanna go through all that shit just to get a floor shifter and a crown Victoria when they got them out there. <laughs> I got this one off of eBay. That's right, eBay. For one thousand dollars. Plus my plane ticket to Florida. And drove this bitch back from Fort Lauderdale. Got down there. Pretty good. Pretty cool guy. Bought me a battery. Got halfway through Florida. To the turnpike. At night. And the alternator went out. Well the guy kindly PayPal'd me $200. I called an Uber from shit. The turnpike. All the way to Orange Blossom Trail. <laughs> In Orlando, Florida. 24 hour auto zone. Thank God, girl saved my life. Got my alternator, came back, and put it on in the dark. Now, it is illegal to put a, it's illegal to work on your car on the side of the highway in Florida. Why is it illegal to work on your car on the side of the highway in Florida? Because gators will snatch your bitch ass up. Meaning, they'll find your car tomorrow and you'll just be gone. On another note, think about all the people missing in Florida that ain't actually missing. They're digested because a gator ate them. Or a 30-foot snake got their ass. It's horrible. <laughs> Off subject. But yeah, so, drove the car all the way back from Florida to Georgia. With that being the only issue, the alternator. What have I done to the car since? Not a hell of a lot. Put some little HIDs in there for visibility because the regular stop lights, you just can't see with them bitches. I had to put an EGR valve on here to get them pass emissions. I had to put a fuel pressure control regulator, whatever the fuck, this thing <laughs> on here because it was causing me to have gas issues. I changed the fuel filter. Because it had something to do with that same shit. So I was just trying shit. It's a new intake. What else? I got a water pump sitting in storage that I need to put on. The coils are new. The plugs are new. If I didn't say the intake is new, I'm saying the intake is new. I can't find a goddamn K&N air filter nowhere in the store. Which is pissing me off. Hate ordering certain shit and waiting on it. Certain shit, I just certain shit, I just want to buy and put it in right now. And I ride around without that shit until I can find it and buy it and put it in right now. <laughs> Let's see what else have I done? Brakes and rotors. They uh cross drill. They not slotted. I don't really give a shit. I ain't trying to race anybody or got them look a certain way. I just needed these motherfuckers to be nice. I got this car from a guy that was kind of big at some point. He had lost the weight by the time I met him, but he used to be big, I guess, and so he wore that bitch down. He also wore that center console down, which it looks like that because I'm doing some bootleg shit to repair it because I don't have $330 to buy the one I saw on eBay. What else have I done to this car? I went in the rear end because the goddamn rear axle. The rear axle on that side was going bad, went bad. So I had to go in the rear end to change that. I just had the transmission rebuilt. I think that's everything I've done to the car in the year time I've had it. I put this little bullshit $20 radio in here until I'm ready to put a $35 radio in here. <laughs> yeah, the $35 double then comes with a backup camera. I don't need a CD player. 
that works just fine. That shit was only ten dollars. Got it on sale for five. So you know, those are the only cosmetic things I've done to the car. Pulled this out of a car my brother was gonna throw away and threw it in there. Yes, it's black. No, my car is not. No, my interior is not. But at some point it will be. So I went on ahead and kicked the party off. And that's what I, that's that's why I do shit like that, you know. Why is this, why do you have this black tacky ass shit in the middle of all this tan? To keep me focused on, I know I got to change this shit so it'll all match at some point. Either I'm going to take this shit down and put the old one back in, or I'm going to move on forward and find me some black seats and a black interior and buy me some black carpet. But that's everything I, uh, yeah, that's everything I did to the crowd export. If it's anything else, I, I'll figure it out and put it in another video. I don't want to go too uh, long. I'll give you a walk around of the car another time because I got to get back to my kids. They don't like when I leave them by themselves, even though they just in the goddamn other goddamn side of this brick wall. Kids will be kids. All right, you have a good day.